search and find you. Don't we have a job to do? OBS hotkeys would be awesome if they actually worked. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. All right. It's in good condition. Hi Let's everyone. Place the perfume gonna... we've prepared inside. Chill out and play some Genshin because I've been playing this a lot today. <laughs> of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better there, for brewing tea. When a suitable my, uh, time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. Got drink as well. I will explain it to you. But our next course Camden of Middle. action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Nice drink. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Something I want to do quickly. Uh, audio. And drop that down a bit, because... Work hard and live each day to the fullest. It's a wee bit loud in that my ears, which usually means it's a bit loud for you lot as well. <laughs> Alright, go by, go by kites. So I'm in the middle of the uh, second Archon quest for Leeway. <laughs> I am... You're here. Not a massive seven kites Genshin player, but every now and then I come back order. and would you like to take them now? Play a bunch of yes. them. Thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him.
He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyuet for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are this is pretty much exactly what I expect, party. like an elderly the toy maker to talk like. The seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down <sighs> to the last letter. These patterns are ancient and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before. Huh? The design Just of this kite displays a firm grasp good advice for all time. Like, and Paimon, stop so talking. Dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> Yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Well, allow <laughs> me. Our child finally showed up. <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child. You are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Alright. Go to these three things. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. <laughs> ah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. Hey, it's not my money. A pleasure doing business with you. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? 
Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. The... Hey, that's a good price. Anyone would work for this much, Mora. Uh, there we go. Round the back. <laughs> oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. No problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. Go get How some does wood. that sound? Done. <laughs> this is all you got, child? Uh, no, no, no. He's... How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, <laughs> and get me a single chinksen flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. How does that sound? Guess we've got no choice. Ah, we've already got. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. With this chinks and flower, I should like be a bundle, able to pacify I just my pick, daughter. Tonight. Pick up anything that's sparkling. I'll make sure the work is the done before I return home. Oh, it's this way. Jesus Christ, that's a long way away. Oh, we're back in Monster. Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in! Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Oh, I, think I've, the I think I've strayed into, in uh, I think I've strayed into the, the wrong... The strongest uh, spider? To the wrong hmm. quest line. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! Then Paimon nominates you. But anyway, is there like the general agreement in the city on who it is, or? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city of freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. Venti or one is the Dandelion Knight. The other is the Dark Knight Hero. Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you. But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just... Get back to work. Hmm. Go ahead and pick up some new pieces from Shops' black spot. You gotta try to Hey, we have we have strayed into the wrong uh into the wrong quest line. So we will come back to finish that, but for now, that's not the menu I wanted. There we go. That is still not the menu I wanted. I want the map. Thank you. Right, so back to Leeway Harbour to actually finish this quest line. Strongest in Mondstadt is either Venti or Diluc, and all the all the culture surrounding those two that I ingest has uh, Diluc very much on top.
Need to remember that pool is there. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. Yeah, that time when the Fatui came in and just, just raised hell. About? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Hey, Carolyn. Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. It is. It's very good. Right, so we got story quests. Yeah, open the quest menu. Oh, I see. There's a new thing at the bottom. Ah! We can start hanging out with people now. I don't think I have any of these characters. I have Noelle, actually. I have Noelle, I have Barbara, and I have Bennett. I don't have Chong Young. The, the ice boy is yet to come home. And he's not even, like, number one boy that I'm after. I still don't have Venti. Still don't have the boy. Wait, is there anything new in here? No, there isn't. Okay. Boo-boo Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out, and Paimon will bring up the rear. Is this... I think I know who this is. No, it's not. Yeah, glass glass houses. So height is no restriction. Hmm. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's a zombie. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Kiki. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, <laughs> little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine, but 
Only if you show Chi Chi your prescription. These are Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. Zhongli and trying somehow to... in this case, Zhongli trying to get himself issues some drugs. her own orders to herself. My dear Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay then. How did you manage that? But Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer to peer transaction. That way everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. I don't believe so. The Guizhong Ballista, at least, I have heard of before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Qinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Qinhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters. It wouldn't surprise me. Like, I think there's a lot of threats. voice actors in this Mr. who have been Zhongli in a lot really of other things. Nice. It's a lot of Apparently, like, not quite. standard anime this voice actors. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adeptive beast. Did you want to add anything else, or no? Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adeptive beast. Yeah, he said What it looks like, don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? Well, at least we get to go do something now. Where is it? Over there. Right. I need to pee quickly, so we'll move down to some flat ground. <sighs> Keep going. And you can enjoy Barbara's Idol animation. <sighs> I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. be as tall as my big sister. All right. Trying to use my uh, earbuds for audio today because I love the K92s, but when you have them on for a long period of time, they get very uncomfortable because they're not they're not deep enough. So the foam on the middle, the foam on them starts to rub on the back on the like tips of your ears.
Oh, there's a... There is a teleport waypoint around here. And I've been very lax in... Uh, Get some out of the water at least. Actually, die. Bad shot. There we go. It's part of the danger of bringing underleveled cat like characters you're trying to level into an area. The chest over there. Where's the other one? Oh, it's one up there. <laughs> I think I can climb up that. I cannot climb up that. I think I can get around here, though. Hmm. It's only a partial solution to the problem. Can get up here. I think then. Nope. That didn't work. Did find another torch there. God damn it. It's one of those extremely rare times when having amber would actually be useful. Oh yeah, I do have, I do have amber. <laughs> I do have amber and can change to her at any time. All right, give me a second. Let's get up here. Do you look? You are suffering the ultimate indignity. You are getting subbed out for amber. Got it. One more. One, two, three, four. It's gotta be in here somewhere. I'm obsessed with this chest now. This is not good. That's not it there, is it? No. On here. Oh well, we can come back for it. Getting that teleport point is a lot more important right now. What's your objective? Look again? Oh, it's there. Ah. 
I suppose this will do. Nothing particularly good, but sigils are sigils. Geo thing over here. Uh, and of course, the waypoint is up a massive rock. Alright, what's the best way of going about this? I think over here is the best place to start. be able to run up to the rest of it. Maybe not run, but it's an easy climb anyway. There we go. And that's another waypoint. At least the ballista's easy to find. It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. No, who would that ever say said, that? Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built. I mean, I'd also say you're a cheap scattle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. Is it in the if big we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair chance. the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. I mean, a ballista is just a massive crossbow. It's not that hugely complex. Where is that geo thing? It's not up in the air. At least not that I can see. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Landed an arrow eventually. Oh, it's going to be down here. <laughs> Things are going so smoothly today. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Come on, we can do it. Shadow Raven, Black Knight Fall. You're basically the worst place you could possibly be <laughs> when Dulac has his alts. Double. Oh yeah, we do have all. I was just thinking, like, we have auto. I could have sworn we had auto cook for this. Turns out we did. Uh, what else? Yeah, we don't. We don't have auto cook for this. these very often, but it's one of those things where you never have enough when you actually need them. Get some of this going. Hmm. No. No, it's not Better what I want to do. But there we go. Right, now where is that Amino thing? Oh, it's there. And a huge pile of stuff. I'm pretty sure we grabbed... Yeah, we did. Grab the Geo thing. Now to head to where we're actually meant to be. Probably still up here. <laughs> Some overhang, can't climb up that. There we go. Anything in here? Nope. True, true, right? Weapon. Watch centuries of peace in the land. Should that ancient evil really exactly head and plunge into the world into war once again, these spare parts shall be needed. Structural parts in the storage room. Okay, but where's the thing to actually open this thing? Open the room. One of those things where you have to come in from the bottom from underneath. We'll need more where that came from. Okay, so the list is there. Not 
not relevant, except that it may be. Provides a hint as to how to get in. Because naturally you're going to go over there and <gasps> beat up the healer's shells. Especially after how much time you spent stuck in town. Will you get up there? He will not get up there. In fact, is very eager to do the exact opposite. Idiot. And go take out my frustrations on this slime. Burn. Judgment. By royal decree. Let's dance. Slimes down there, a bunch of various other things. All oh, right, time to climb back up this rock. Update is available. Hmm. Well, you might as well do it now. I'm not using you. Midstream iPod maintenance. thing here. Ah, there we go. And all of a sudden we're in. Hmm. Better than nothing. No. Oh, challenge plate. There we go. Just go in through the window. Should have known. Alright, let's go back to the blister. It's over here. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh. Now how do I'm we not chugging on? this bottle. The bottle's it's too nice. Enough. We simply need to do this. Also, I don't have Look, another one in the chill in the It fridge. even has a scope. Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? There we have some so guys who want to fight. this turret! Because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures. 
but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an Adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Ah, right, simple enough. There we go. Go away. You're open. You can't run. Rosario is quickly becoming one of my favorite characters in the entire game. Like, her special and her burst just sync up so brilliantly. Also, it's nice having a spear user that isn't Zhang Ling. About this brilliant as you wish me for life damn raven can't go upstairs you can't run Last guy now. There he is. Apparently we've got more to do. That is not where I wanted to be. I can't climb up there. No, nope. get back on the fucking platform. 
Uh, fights in elevated spaces. Not even once. Time for retribution. There you go. You can all go away. By royal decree. Let's dance. Yeah. You can't run. Alright, where's the next guy? That one. Midnight Phantasmagoria! Alright, you go away. These douchebags. All of them. Huh. These little lice didn't know who they were messing with. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that. So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adeptibeast, as Chi-Chi put it. Ah, <sighs> which means... A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we yeah, won't we've... solve anything we while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Explain that we could not find a cocoa goat and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. All right, back to town. Which actually isn't that far away, thankfully. Entrance. Where is the entrance? There it is. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adeptibeast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Chi-Chi, why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. How long have you got? So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptibeast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Huh? <laughs> I owe you both an apology. All kinds of wrong thinking. I hastily thinking coconut agreed milk to what appeared to be an equitable milk. agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never 
mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leeward proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No. Im impossible. <laughs> hey, you do the hot bit. Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Snake. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Okay, now I understand why I've seen so much art of this guy. Is that it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck? What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Snake. <gasps> the medicine... The snake is speaking! <laughs> I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from must the medicine speak. cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> you have to elongate Don't every S Chung when you're... She's a good girl, really. When you're voicing a snake, That's it's the rules. Three. Communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Aw, oh, too bad that Chi's thing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. I literally have like one and a half million number. more. I'd never be able to make that much more. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Twenty minutes later, after crawling back to child. <laughs> Coco goat. Coco goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. I think it's like colon I'm three years. Tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but... So much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi-Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. <laughs> Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. That's like zero difference from three million. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of three million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Even less than useless. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. 
What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Yeah, and literally nobody is trusting the Fatui with anything. Unless they're massive idiots. And even Venti doesn't trust them, so... And a special level of ma massive idiot. How many Primo gems do I have? 107. Passing by. How do I? Yeah. So let me get a bit close to actually finishing this quest line. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Whoa, finally! Well, traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Yeah, sure you will. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. Quest complete. Do, do, do. Where is the clock? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Time. Fortunately, not that far away, so... Oh, I do keep forgetting that's actually a function. Actually, while we're here, we should cash in this achievement. There you go. Bunch. Bunch of Primo gems. You're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders <laughs> as fruit juice. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. So an airship. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none 
but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, oh, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two. Start a step slouch. Of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait. I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yua High Pavilion. Ganyu. And I have come specifically to meet you. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Well, that's not ominous at all. And the act's complete. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liyue at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the right of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Okay, so now we've got two adventure ranks to go before we can carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many ways to raise adventure rank, I know. Right, where is the Adventurer's Guild? Because we did level up earlier. There it is. It is behind us. And we're on the wrong street for it. There we go. Adventure rank wards. Right, so we need adventure rank twenty eight for that. 
started that, so we might as well go do it in a moment. Alright, back to Mondstadt. Zoom out, please. Thank you. Now to go watch some fights at the tavern. Want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. That's right. I found oh. this out one day about half a month ago when I went I up to the Storm Bear Mountains for inspiration <laughs> for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. <sighs> Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure power nobody else mental. knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? <sighs> it's like crazy. just a guess. I mean... No. It's a bard's razor-sharp intuition. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? So, this girl. What's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Even if you are a close friend, what would you like? Hey, Jack. I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Wanna join me? Yeah, sure. You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all, Stanley. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mar Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Sensible choice. Safety first and all that. First instinct when saying so. Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Mondstadt's famous wine, too? Uh, <clears throat> the strongest fighter of them all? That would be Gene, obviously! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Gene is so strong, she can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes of Dada Upa Gorge all by her <clears throat> self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. That's basically what all the knights are like. What'll it be today? The strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! 
Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Patton was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. Bet the knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Come on! Let's just go and ask already. We'll never find out if we don't. Okay. Go to the headquarters and bother Jean. Actually, while I'm... While I've got some time... I should spend some of these XP books we've been getting. Hey, it's enough to get dealer up to level 40. And we don't have what we need. Oh, do we have enough... We don't. We do have a constellation piece, though. Even though I haven't actually been using the Traveller for, <laughs> for a long time. That's it. I'm kind of stuck in my party choices right now. Barbara is the only decent healer I have. Official's the best ranged I have. And then it's just a question of, like, who am I leveling? Actually, on that point. Do. I mean, it's Aloy, I guess, but I don't even want to spend XP books on her. Razor is like the one person right now who I want to get going. <laughs> Funny because I want a uh, melee focused Electra. Oh, Master Jean! Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> I was hoping she would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me... Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Order, she'll climb up that ranking. Well, either way, smashing <laughs> the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious, but be careful out there. Yeah, like, like Paimon's VA is legitimately awesome. Like, as annoying as the character is on purpose, you know, annoying on purpose is still annoying, but 
when she's delivering these sarcastic lines. It's Klee! Bumping into you. Hey, look! There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Monstad be bond. Klee be doomed. Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're um. Survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. I can believe Kaya yeah. writes like that. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy right now! I heard it from Amber. But wait, no! Yeah, I'm mostly, no I'm mostly listening right at the moment now. right now because... I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and Because we are stuck in cutscene hell. The way here. So the problem with mainlining quests is you end up in the, a lot the, of cutscenes. The cut treasure scenes. I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's gone. Did you say buried treasure? And she has treasure! Seriously? Clay gets Six Finger Jose's bow for strongest fighter in Mondstadt? What is wrong with people? <laughs> Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it! Yay! Thanks, you guys! Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it, to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. <laughs> Come on, Miss Honorary Knight, let's go! Alright, oh, so please a dipshit. At least now we've hopefully got stuff to do. Also going to check the shop, see if I got try and find something. Nope, haven't got the thing we're actually after. Take it the awkward way back to the gate. Just one more. And away we go. Across the bridge and off to the woods. Ooh, crystal fly. 
pressure's gone, but you seem oddly happy. Uh, well, Razor and Albedo seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. I never thought I'd have a new big sister to help me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Treasure find this time. <laughs> Stuck a wooden sign. We're here. This is the place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground. about what's that in his hand <gasps> my treasure what it's a harrow mm, i see the little girl has brought her friends with her time for a change of plan hey you if you think you're so tough get back here and fight what's oh, time to go kick the shit out of an abyss, abyss mage. In the forest all the time but i've never seen one before so cute, soft, and fluffy. I want to pet it. Game's up. Now hand it over. Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> oh, come on. We can do it. Oh. Judgment! Punishment! Midnight Phantasmagoria! Careful, Clee! Don't be drawn in by it! Abyss mages are the bad guys! Oh, that's right. Grandmaster top Jean slime says that slaughtering action. Is wrong. Freeze! <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're throwing the Electro Slimes at me when I've got a fully powered up uh, d -book. I'll protect us. Huh. Huh. Hmm. But if we could just get him to give it back... Where'd he go? The Abyss Mage! He just disappeared! Ooh, eggs. What's going on? It's probably gone up here. Random batch of hillage hills. Judgment. Huh. 
Hmm. Better than nothing. Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Into a domain. Hey, and for once we don't actually need to change anything out. Let's go. Domain time. Hey, we have Klee. Long time. and start tossing bombs around. There we go. Ah, there is a chest. About as obvious as possible that we're meant to be using Klee for this entire thing. She can just run under all the all the lasers.
just casually running around, just hurling bombs at everything. It's like people have made horror films from like stuff like this. Up with the ball. Right now, your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol. <laughs> yep, he blew himself up with the ball. No, I broke the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people, Gene can be dreadful. <sighs> This is it. This time I'm done for. <laughs> uh, wait. So Clee's treasure is a bomb? No wonder mm, Clee was rumored this, to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. <laughs> High number one is never picking a fight with her ever. Hold on. Why has she gone and run off? Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and report to Jean. Nice big chest. And away out. And now they run back to Mondstadt. Actually. We're just going to teleport there. To what is probably the wrong teleport point, to be honest. There is a closer one. I have to get both Jean again. Answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Why is that? But, but Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Abyss mages hey, confirmed not to be people. now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. 
They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity. What? Ugh, what? I'm way too tight. I don't get it. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! First time they for everything? They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure! Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no! To try and get the facts on the treasure! Mm hmm So, does that mean...? In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Miss Honorary Knight, you've gotta come too! whoop de doo It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Klee? Where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! <laughs> I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means... Clee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. Paimon bets Clee must get bored in there all by herself. Achievements. Guess who? That's Paimon's mm. voice I specific. hear. Ooh, ooh, yes, please. Wait, no, I, I can't. Clee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Um, when you say treasure... <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Yeesh, if Jane was listening to this... Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Quest complete. Oh, 60. 60 Primo Gems. Does that take me up to now? 256. Right. We have not got enough to do that, but one of the things we can do is make some progress on this. Defeat an Amino Stasis. There's one over here. Teleporter there. We can go knock out some of these. Just because we don't have time to start in another quest. And I don't I don't have the stomach for more cutscenes. <laughs> go actually fight something big to end the stream. What was that? Just take the chills. Nothing. Nothing worth caring about. Right, it is an Amino one, which means... We are going to want an Amino... My experiment. Caster. Alright. 
Time to fight something. set of four hypostasis when I was playing earlier. I think it was a Electro one, so I'm not familiar with the Amon Animo one's abilities. So it's an entirely new fight, even if I do know how to fight a hypostasis in general. Store their health. damage. Things are getting interesting. down. I'm actually going to need one of those eggs. Not to mention Barbara's, uh... Ready, steady, go! Like overtime today. Nope. At least no more work. And she's down again. And we got another minute before we can use another 
revival item. seconds. Stasis, they don't mess about. Quest was absorbed, that's no revival happening. down. Hyperstasis taken down. Oh, crap. 
a load of upgrade materials. Thing is, I know I should be doing this more. But it's just hard to worry about when I'm... It's just hard to worry about when I'm... Normally doing quests. things was raise three weapons to phase two. I don't know I can do that. Send a weapon to phase three. I right. wonder when I'll be as tall as my big That's not what I want. sister. That's not what I want either. That's what I want. Ascended. Now we can use the ridiculous amount of ore we have. We've descended up to level 40. I seriously, I seriously not enhanced his weapon at all. <laughs> all right, this needs fixing. They can ascend, so we will do that. Start shoveling more ore into it. Send it again. And it's a four star weapon, so it's actually worth doing this. To a, to a certain point. I think we will leave the uh, leveling that there, though. Likewise with this. We can't ascend that. That's level two already. Can do though is refine that. Why did we lock that? Don't need to unlock that. It's literally only two. Literally only two spear users in the entire game. You only ever need two decent spears. Ascent to level two. The sword is level three. Two already. Ah, of course, bows. Bows are easy ones. Too, can we? we can't. Don't even actually look to that. So, uh, what am I looking for? No.
is literally just to get this thing in the exploration log. Send three weapons to phase two. Who did that? What does it mean? It's what I would consider level three. Oh boy. Three characters to phase two. Okay, so it must be in stage three. Three shrines of depth. So I've done two of those. Alright. We will collect. Last minute stuff. Good place to leave off as any. Very pretty games, always. Anyway, thanks for coming out, y'all. I'll see you sometime. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, Automobilista tomorrow. Are you tired? Sim racing stuff. Try my new spicy the, energy drink. Uh, I'm sure it'll make you up. New DLC is coming out. Want to play that pretty much as soon as it goes live. So keep an eye on Twitter for that, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.